Hi everybody and uh, welcome to the poster nine uh, phew, 595 of the mini series Gold Brain 595 595 that's okay and we are Monday the August 17 let's write it change the title 2020 there and I have the brain there yesterday's poster was a duo tone creation so today I want to create a duotone poster too. I separated the brain. Maybe not in a good way. Yeah, there are a little hole there. Strange. So that's like and maybe today I want to create a Jordan poster. I want an iridescent brain again. So let's go under levels. It's an adjustment layer. And see if I can do something with that brain. I copy them in case if I am unhappy with the result with the high pass so filter other Gaussian uh, high pass Prep Preparing to filter progress. Let's try to to have a radius, smaller radius. Okay. Filter, I pass, progress. Work in progress. I know about that. Change the blending mode to you. Ah, what colors? Let's use a filter blur, Gaussian blur over it. Maybe a motion blur. Motion blur, let's try. Let's have a try. Maybe the value is too high. Maybe not a motion blur. Let's have a try on mosaic. Pixels. 
isolated brain. Could be nice, but no. Stylized, solarized. Oh, it's blue brain with green and a little bit of yellow reflect as well as the pink one there. Hey, this one is cool. Let's see what happens there. Mm. That's a little bit crazy. It really looks like a generative uh, design made in uh, processing. Yeah, I like, I like that. The color wheel is running and running and running again and again. Yeah, it's very, very strange there. Uh, let's select some colors inside the brain let's dark get the darker dark blue lighter blue purple kind of pink there gray let's see the lighter green Okay, not the green. I got pink or oh, cream color. Why not? <coughs> See what I can do with these colors. Command O to see the wall canvas. I hit the keyboard uh, U. Because I want to set uh, a rectangle as a background. Come on. Okay. You don't want. Maybe I should get rid of that. Come on. Ah, so slow. Here we are. I go above or down on the layer. I make a selection. Selection. I create a big rectangle. Now it's white, of course. <coughs> oh. I make my code. Cancel. No, don't want that. Okay, here, cream, mm. contrast, but not good. Mm, it can be fine, let's try the green, hey, something happens with the green. The blue, 
light blue yeah. good I prefer the green no no the blue was nice the blue is nice so let's use this blue color I merge my layer together still look fine let's make it a bit smaller okay no Duplicate. Anything appear on the on the side of the pole, the canvas. Let's see what happens. Strange. That's strange. No, I don't like it. Let's duplicate the brain several times with different size and see what happens. Because the blue can make us remind the blue of the sky and the, um, and they are a flying flying brain again. Flying brain. Flying brain. Okay, sorry. Let's duplicate it again and play with the transform tool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, T. Let's make this one bigger, just a little bit, not as much as this one, and not as small as this one. Difference should clearly be seen. If not, it will look weird. Let's put it there. And let's uh, let's make a bigger one in this area. Command T to transform it and make it bigger. Let's see what happens. Oh. Uh, 
Okay, that's fine there. You, you have to move somewhere like here. And you have to go a little bit up or not. No, go down. No, no. You, you are fine. If you know that, we just search it around here, and it's not good. looks fine like that uh, maybe maybe I should play with that and add again a blur filter a Gaussian blur but not uh, set to a high value if not it will look so it looks mm, not that good. I like that. You see, it's uh, it's uh, hurting my brain, uh, my real one, eh? not the one on the poster. Okay, and my eyes too. That break my eyes. I think I need to change my glasses. And no, they are just fine. That's the Gaussian blur effect. A part of the Gaussian blur effect. 12 looks reasonable. Yeah, you know, uh, the big brain is closer to your eyes. The smaller brain are far from your eyes. And uh, it's like on camera, they are uh, a field, uh, a field uh, that the lens um, focus on, and the background is. Uh, hey, where are you? And the background is blurry, and the things close are blurry too. Oh, how to say that in English? I don't know, but you got me, right? Yeah, where does it appear? Why did you leave brain? Are you there? Yeah. So let's do that effect there to make it natural. One more time, Fing filter finger, ah. Yeah, it's still difficult for me to speak and uh, do something at the same time. And my brain is going everywhere. I'm searching my words. I'm taking my breath. I'm trying to do something nice. Trying, uh, I said trying. Because when you, you are in a hurry like that, it's always not good. I really should gauge or have an ID before open Photoshop. I'm thinking again, am I that happy? Yeah, for sure. Hey, it's pretty warm there these days. I hope you, you are not in quarantine anymore because uh, you experience I, exper I experienced it several months ago and oh, it's terrible. It's really a terrible sensation to have to stay at home during months. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. I live it in a really bad way. 
I just psychological for me. If you tell me you should not go out, the only one thing I will want is to go out. If you tell me you have to work, ooh, I will work. It depends uh, depend what kind of job. If you ask me to construct a house, it will be difficult for me. But if you ask me to make a poster, it will be nice. Come on. Okay, a little bit less uh, radius value there because it's a bigger brain. This one is a bigger brain, so it looks uh, less blurry naturally. Filter Gaussian blur. Oh no, I'm singing again. I that mean I'm starting to feel free when I'm making a poster now. And that's probably a good signal. But not for you, maybe. My voice is breaking your head. And you're here, sure. Filter. So it's approximately the same size. So I use uh, the same before to make a Gaussian blur on it. <coughs> Um, I don't know why I'm thinking about uh, speak like a, like a commentator, a speaker of uh, uh, the Formula One speaker will do, but uh, on how to make a poster, it, it uh, should be uh, very funny. The problem is in comparison to the formula when formula when one oh good I have an indian accent now a little bit mixed with russian and european don't tell me i have a french accent um this one looks a little bit blurry yeah comment the post, yeah, what I want to say is the Formula One, the comparison in for, with Formula One is that uh, Formula One, you know when it's finished, but a poster, you already know when it's finished. Maybe not. Yeah, the commentator, the speaker have more difficulties to notice when the poster is finished. Maybe? No? Okay, who cares? So let's back to the Gaussian blur effect. And use a small value because we are we are closer to the focus point there. The focal. It's that ah, 13. No, too huge. Should go down eight here should look a reasonable option for a Gaussian blur over a brain depth there blur, Gaussian blur progress What that do to my brain to wait like that and see this panel showing his face every time and the color wheel. Oh no, I'll make nightmare of the color wheel. It's bad. Okay, maybe you are unwell placed. You should go a little bit there. Yes. That's much better there okay save the poster very important 
and that's the file of the brain i don't save it because i don't want to save the the movement i made on this file building histograms while you are saving and you will crash so i think it's time to bring my daughter to school so i bring my daughter to school and i come back to finish the poster number 599 and after a little break and a new vision about uh, the poster it already looks uh, not that bad should i add something else that's the question and i'll try to answer it as soon as possible but i think i have to change the color of this font there in white because black is too strong and that's not okay so here we are and let's start by integrate the text somewhere is it like illustrator no i should not use a shape maybe a pass would be better something like that use the text yes it is like illustrator gold brain 17 <laughs> but why only the g appear let's make it huge okay where are you Show up, please. Let's do it again. One more time. P. To select the pen tool. Oh, you. Yeah. I'm going too far, and that's not okay. Let spoons the shape of the brand this oval select the pen tool oh no and click outside of the pass so for sure it won't be okay hey this tiny block nothing is moving should i wait or should i restart ah yeah nothing is showing up anymore ah yeah the menu down ah Ah, why do you go there? Come on, I don't need you there. Eh, 
IFV, Lorem Ipsum now. Crazy. Mm. I made some action during uh, the software froze and is making them uh, okay why not okay done select please no i don't want the layer style ah it's terrible it's not like if i am a little bit in a hurry but uh, looks like so there i can see gold brain <coughs> number 17 then you looks pretty good let's uh, it's centered now Okay, let's remove this little A there. Escape. Character option. And make them larger. Gold brain 17. Okay. How can I select these little things there? Yeah, there, I want you, no, not like that. No, you're in the reverse right now. No, I make command Z and it's still on the reverse way, oh. A little bit more complicated than Illustrator, I think. Ah, come on. Come on, this should be okay. Ah, remove. Then, tack, yeah. Oof. So you have to select uh, command. Select these little things there and yeah, like that. Oh, done. Hey, it was uh, it was difficult. Okay, don't, don't, don't. You can stop now. Come on, move. Do something, Illustrator. Uh, Photoshop, please. <laughs>
Come on, come on. No. Yeah. I don't need a V there. So you move. Okay. So let's select a better variation for that poster. Maybe, uh, maybe a condensed semi ball looks should looks fine. Yeah, a little bit better. Let's make it huge. More huge. Mm, start to be fine. Maybe a little bit more huge. Yeah. Ah, uh, the 60 is too much. Too much tracking. Uh, maybe let's say 20. Ah, come on. 20. Here we are. So I will play with the with the font variation there and to play like uh, like the brain. Oh uh, yeah, like the brain uh, you can see uh, here with uh, distance. I'll try to play with that. I'll show you how I'll do it in a moment. Condensed regular. Here you're okay. Maybe you too should be bolder or heavy. Yeah. Looks just fine like this. Okay, okay. I got it. Hmm. Condensed ultralight. Yeah. No. Regular. You good. I want you bolder. Yeah, heavy. You should go thinner, light, condensed light, and that looks relatively fine. So now it's still a vector format with the font. So I I make it much, much, much bigger. You will see, you will understand soon. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Like this. Yeah. Just a little bit more, a little bit less. Okay. Yeah, fine. I take it. So I duplicate this layer just in case if I need it again. I rasterize the type. And I select the ah, the polygonal lasso tool and start to cut inside the layer. Okay, now command 
C to copy, I erase that part, command V to paste, command T, and I make it a little bit smaller, like this. And I continue the operation for all the letter. Command C, erase, Command V. You should be bigger, like this. You should be a little bit bigger too. The L should be bigger. So copy, erase, paste. Name it L. O. G. So I say you should be a little bit bigger. Or you, the O, should be much thinner. And behind the, and behind the brain. Yeah. Much thinner. Much. Yeah, just like that, it's fine. So the L can be a little bit smaller too. Select the lasso tool, cut over the D. I want to add to the selection the brain, the end of brain, and the seven. No, bad idea. Trying to get faster, but it's better to do, to do that one by one. I copy, I erase, I paste. I make it a bit bigger, same uh, if it's rasterized now, I, I'll apply a uh, Gaussian blur soon. So, no matter. Move a little bit the L down. I did that with the G too. Like that I can put the D <coughs> a little bit down too. And uh, I uh, add over it a Gaussian blur effect to see what happens. Six. It's too thin. I want it a little bit stronger. Yeah. Start to become something relatively fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nice. Looks perfect. Let's select the N, ah, D, name, the layer, the N. Yeah, I do the N because I have the. <coughs> Like that, I will uh, use the same uh, amount of uh, of Gaussian blur on uh, each 
heavy letter. Command C, erase, Command V, make it bigger. Ooh, much bigger. Looks fine, looks fine. And apply the Gaussian blur effect over it. Like that, yeah. I do the same for this little character that I don't know the name in English. Command C, erase, Command V, make it smaller. Much smaller. Whoa, 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 whoa. Select it again. That's the N letter. Select. The lasso tool, the seven copy, command C, erase, command V, make it bigger. I come a little bit in the yeah. in the center with the number seven. <coughs> if not, that will cut the filter Gaussian blur. And it will be very ugly when I will move it because it will be cut. And that's not what I want. Really not. Seven there. I named the layer seven. A. Seven. Select the, ah, the number one. Up command erase V and make it a little bit bigger than the character in the front of him. Yeah, like this looks fine. I think uh, this number one uh, stay in the focus. The last tool again. Command C, erase, command V. Like that, I only have the B letter there. I name the layer. Command T to select transform. Make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. I realize I, I have to make the D letter bigger. And here we are. Let's add a Gaussian blur effect, but a not so strong effect. Hop, 17, now do you look like maybe a little bit more, 21, 9, 22, almost. Done. Select the A letter. Come on, C, erase, come on, V. Make it bigger by come on, T. And push this anchor point here and here. Okay, push this brain a little bit on the side. Yeah. Don't go and blur. Oh. I have the I and the R together. 
command C, ARS, command V. Bring the R layer, the A layer. What is this letter there? The number one here. Tac, I come back to the R letter. That's in the focal. Make it smaller. Yeah. Stay in the focal. Yeah, make the B a little bit smaller. The A two. Just a little bit. And the C I. Who will look a little bit blurry too. And not only a little bit. Cushion blur. Here you are. Yeah. Yeah, you should go up. Maybe add a little bit the uh, Gaussian blur effect over the number one. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. And now on the G letter, I should add a little bit Gaussian blur too. Maybe a little bit more. I already made one over, but it's fine. Okay. Okay. Done. Move the A there. The R up. And B2. Oh, too much, too much. Should the overlap the L? Maybe a little bit. Gold brain 17. And not that bad, huh? Save the 17, put it down. Up here, here, add a little Gaussian blur over this character there, and it's nice. Okay, I have to add a little bit Gaussian blur over those two F, those two later because it looks unnatural. It's really a small Gaussian blur over the R letter. R, done. And select the L and a little bit over the L2 and it's done with the letter. Yeah, looks fine. Maybe the end should go down a little bit. Yeah. The eye should go down. Yeah. Ah. Gold brain. Okay, let's make it bigger like this. Make it thinner, like smaller, like this. And we are done. Yeah, yeah. Looks fine like that. Like it. Maybe 
add some circles and see how it looks like. A uh, square won't be okay. One on the focal. One with a Gaussian blur effect. The strong one. Gaussian blur, convert to smart object. Yes, sure. Okay. Oh. Come on. Let's hide you hey there. Are you really under the brain or no you're not? Here. Duplicate it one more time. Over. You should go over. You are over. What? No, you are not over this. Yeah. Let's duplicate and make it smaller. Also add a Gaussian blur effect. Convert to smart object, okay, fine, smaller, I want a smaller radius for it, so let's make a smaller radius, 44 is maybe too strong, 93, how does it look like, yeah, fine. So, is there any part who looks too straight like a line? Uh, maybe you should go a bit down here, you too, and there, no, there. Yeah, 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 why not? And it's done. Thank you very much to follow this poster tutorial. I really, really appreciate it so much. There is not a lot of people who are looking at them right now. Uh, I made uh, some poster who are more successful and uh, yeah, with the taste of the people, I think I attract uh, different kind of people, maybe not uh, only graphic designers and um, and uh, yeah, there are some people who are looking the poster, not a lot, but they are. And uh, I want to thank you for that. I think uh, the, my channel is growing. And uh, step by step, little by little, and it's just fine like that. I, uh, I, yeah, I do what I like. And that's the principle, the most valuable things who can happen to me. And uh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. So I thank you very much. I hope I bring you a bit motivation about the graphic design or the project you are going to do and uh, give you the inspiration you need to start your own uh, project and uh, see you tomorrow for the poster 996 see you have a nice day take good care bye